You want to get rich? Become the best salesperson in the world. You want to build a business? Become the best salesperson in the world. That is it. Because when you open your own business, you got to do everything. You got to be hungry when you're getting your face kicked in. You don't get to sleep. You don't get to complain. You don't get to tell people, this sucks. I'm having a bad day. I don't feel like coming in. Shut your mouth. You prayed for this. You're getting it. Now go to work and shut up. If any of this flies over any of your head, I would tell you it's taken me 25 years to understand how to print money. Okay? And how to be a good person. Because there was a time I only wanted to make money, but I had bad intentions. Okay? I changed my intentions. I changed my goals. I wanted to change people's lives. And, and I wanted to make a lot of money too. But I wanted to do more than just make money. Everybody write this down. It has to be more than just making money. It has to be more. Okay. Grand master communicator. This is the, the it's like a, a chess player. There's like grand master chess player. Okay. If you can do these three things every time you're closing, you will be unstoppable. Now, your goal is, um, I'm, so I want to explain this. Companies call me and they go, Andy, I have a company. We sell this. These are the top five objections we get. I need to build word tracks. Does that make sense? Because I'm like the word fucking play guy. So I'll think, okay, let me think about this. When I'm writing out a word track, this is how I write it out. Let me give you the blueprint for making a word track. I make it easy for the client to say yes to it. No matter what it is, you got to make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and you got to make it the client's idea. You have to make it their idea. Do you want me to tell you what to do or do you want to make it your idea? When do people really do stuff when it's their idea? Dude, if there's a husband and a wife, go tell your husband to do something, ain't gonna do it. But usually he comes to an event like this and then he goes back home He's like, hey, babe, you can, uh, yeah, we're going to get really close. She's like, I'm saying that for 15 years. And you're like, and, but he'll say, but no, babe, this is different. It's not different. It's not different. It was just your idea this time. If you want everyone to say yes, if you're building out any kind of word track, here's the formula. Make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, Make it the client's idea every single time. Now, become deadly with your words. So watch this. There was a dog guy that literally has a dog kennel training business. And I'm sitting there and I'm talking to him about, like, they sell, train your, your dogs for five grand, right? And they've got sales guys and they come in for presentations, they show them the deal, people look them up on Google. And then it's five grand, they take your dog, they pull them in house, it's one week, you get your dog back, they're trained. And then there's an ongoing deal after that. Dude, I asked him, I said, like, because he's, they're closing at like 10%. I'm like, well, that fucking sucks. Like, you should be closing at least 40%. He's like, well, we close at 40%, we break the bank. I'm like, well, if you close at 80%, you break the bank. Closing at 40%, you'd be average. He's like, oh, okay. I said, can I just see what everybody's saying? I said, where's the, where's the scripts? He goes, well, we don't really have any. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. I'm like, okay, I get that. But how do they know what to say? He's like, well, they just tell them what we do. I'm like, no, but like, how do they know what to say though? Like when someone says no, how do they get them to say yes? Because this is sales, guys. That you can't onboard somebody into a sales organization if you don't explain to them, if you buy the training from me, it's so that you can compress time frames. Okay? What would take most people 10 years to do, you could do in 10 months if you're getting coaching and you're training. Does that make sense? 
Okay, cool. So do you want to beat the learning curve? Okay, do you want to, do you want to, this isn't traditional education where you spend 50 grand, go to college, learn how to make 50 grand a year. This is where you spend 50 grand and literally you learn what someone did. If they built a nine figure business and they'll show you how they built it, then you can make it basically listen and then you can build it quickly because you can look under their skirt and see how they built it. Does that make sense? It's, it's what do you say? So we built him out scripts. Within three weeks, they were closing at 50%. Watch. It's like, everybody's like, yeah. It's like, we were just doing what we were supposed to be doing the whole time. Every one of you listen to me. I'm gonna tell you the number one problem I've ever seen in my life with sales. Okay, do you sell something? Raise your hand if you do. Are you ready for this? Yes. This is the test that you do with yourself and then with your company if you have one. It goes like this. I was in the car business. There's in the car business, there, people say, I need to think about it. They say it on the lot when it's outside, like before they come inside. And then they say it on the inside when there's numbers on the table. Should every car salesman have those two objections memorized? Yes or no? Yes. Zero yes. percent of the world have them memorized. Oh, but all day long, their managers are like, we got to sell more cars. We got to sell more cars. There's people coming in, people coming in, people coming in. They ain't trained them. Dude, would you be a jackass manager if you were running around saying we want to sell more, but then your team don't even know how to overcome an objection? Am I right? Is this stupid that we're even talking about this? You want to annihilate everyone in your industry? Everyone. Very simple. It's called a standard. It's called a people have to train before they're released into the field. No one does it. No one, no one, no one does it. I need to think about it. The car business, I got a couple more cars I wanna go look at. I gotta to talk to my wife. We're six months out. The price is too high, the payment's too high. I want more for my trade. Car business, there's about seven of them. And that's it. I walk into car dealerships and I say, just give an example. You got 20 guys here. Are there seven objections that they get every day? Nobody's like, oh, my ice cream's melting in the car. Uh, I gotta leave. They're like, oh, shit, we didn't train for that one. <laughs> it's the same shit every single day. You know what? I walk into these stores and I ask them, you guys need training? They say, nah, we're good. We're good. Okay, cool. I'm gonna test your guys. 20 guys will come through me. I need to think about it. I got a couple more cars to go look at. I need to talk to my wife. They choke on every single one. They can't even, they sound like absolute idiots. Managers go, nah, our team doesn't wanna train. Say what? Who's in charge? Losers. When you put losers in charge of a company, the people become losers. They're not bad people. These salespeople aren't bad people. They just got loser managers. Their managers don't care. You know how they got a job? They worked seven days a week, 14 hours a day, gave up their family, and they got promoted. They have no clue how to build great people. They have no clue. Here's what I will tell every one of you in here. Please, listen to me. If you lead a team, don't ask your people to do something you can't do. If you have a technician and he has to do an upsell, make sure that you can do the same upsell, present it and perform it in front of your team to show them how to do it. And if you say, well, I'm not good at that, what would you allow them to say they're not good at it? No. So you need to get good at it. You need to practice. You need to learn it so you can impress them and then they'll want to learn it. Does that make sense? The reason why the Elliott group was built is because I can perform everything that everyone does on my team. That is the only reason. Super important guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, 
Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. People will choose their mentor over money. If you're not the best and you run a team, I would tell you, you better get really good or else you will have turnover your whole life. If you want people to die working for you, guess what? You got to be the best. People want to work for a leader that's a warrior. People want to work for a leader, not a boss. People want to work for someone that's obsessed with the business that they do that can still perform it themselves. Guys, don't ever become too good. Can I ask you a question? In any company, what happens if sales stop? Go out of business. Somebody tell me what's more important than sales. Nothing. What's more important than sales? No, but like we're talking about business for a minute. I get it to my kids and my wife, but what's more important than sales in a business? Yeah, but leadership could be great, but if sales aren't going great, you're out of business. Should the leaders know how to sell? I li listen, I'm going to tell you a rule. Most people are trying to get out of their businesses too early. They're trying to pull out too soon. I want to be the leader. I want to be the, I want to go on vacation. When you go on vacation, your team wants to go on vacation now too. I'm going to explain something to you guys. I, I was only at my company for six days last month. I was gone, I was traveling, I was everywhere. But do you know what? My team don't miss a beat. You know why? Because when I am here, I'm right here on the ground with them. Anybody and everybody that's been with me, I'm right here on the ground with them all day, every day. I love my team. I love sales, I love my customers. I love what we do, I'm obsessed. I'm psycho, I wanna better everyone around me. I'm fun to be around, I'm competitive. I want everybody to have a good life. If you guys can become this, you may say, well, Andy, I'm not, I'm, I don't own a company right now. I work for someone else. Do you think that the person you work for wants someone like this in their company? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Duh! Oh my God. Everybody, owning your own business is hell. Some of you are like, I just want to own my own business. It is hell. You get sued. You, 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 you take all the risks, you pay all the employee taxes, you buy all the expenses, everything. You know how you're like, I don't know if I should buy that. You buy everything when you're the owner. You, you want to open your own business? If you can't make it working for someone else, you would not make it You're running your own business. When you work for someone else and you want to open your own business, you're the most motivated son of a bitch in the company. Why? Because when you open your own business, you got to do everything. You got to be hungry when you're getting your face kicked in. You don't get to sleep. You don't get to complain. You don't get to tell people, this sucks. I'm having a bad day. I don't feel like coming in. Shut your mouth. You prayed for this. You're getting it. Now go to work and shut up. Now, when you work for someone else, dude. Do you guys know that the people that you work for, if you want to make more money, increase your value. I can walk into any company right now, any company, and I could go, you're going to pay me 500 grand a month. And they go, no, I'm not. Watch. And I'll walk into a sales company. 500 grand, is that what you wanted? <laughs> Why? Everybody listen. Everybody wants the sales boss. Everybody wants the operator. And by the way, quick, quick news flash. I don't just run sales when I'm in sales. Marketing, customer uh, creation, right? Customer service. I'm in all that shit. Why? Because that's my guys. That's how they sell. I got to make sure all that shit feeds this. You get it? If something screws up in the company, it's on me. I'm the sales guy. 
Who gets paid the most? Salespeople. You want to get rich? Become the best salesperson in the world. You want to build a business? Become the best salesperson in the world. That is it. And you got to know how to build other salespeople. I am training you. If you, listen, if you can't build you, how can you build them? You can't. This is why you have to change. This is why when you go back, I want people going, listen, that happened to me. I went to an event, walked in one way, went back, totally different man. Everybody's like, dude, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Until eventually they quit saying what was going on because they knew what was going on. I fucking leveled up. They'll ask in the beginning and then they're like, Fuck it, he's crazy, let him go. And then, listen, a real leader, a great salesperson, a master communicator breaks records on their own while building up the rest of the team. You, your goal isn't to come in and be the top performer and say, screw everybody. Your goal is to come and be the top performer and be an example to everybody and motivate everybody to reach for more. You know, I got these two guys in the back, they sell cars. One guy was selling 25 cars a month. The other one went over to his store, sold 30. Instead of them hating each other, they decided to push each other. Both of them sold 60 cars last month. Why? Because they're leaders. Dude, when you can build a team of running mates, you're dangerous. But in the beginning, someone has to show everyone what's possible. That's your goal today. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters that can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.